ही गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल बिकमिंग प्रो एक्टिव विद सौम्या अग्रवाल सो आई एम विद अनदर वीडियो एंड दैट इज ऑन हाउ यू कैन रिवाइज योर कॉस्टिंग इन जस्ट फाइव डेज सो अगेन आई वुड सजेस्ट यू दैट इफ यू आर रिवाइजिंग कॉस्टिंग फॉर द सेकेंड टाइम देन यू शुड फॉलो दिस प्लान और इफ यू आर हैविंग अ शॉर्टेज ऑफ टाइम एंड यू कैन अलॉट जस्ट फाइव डेज टू दिस टू दिस सब्जेक्ट then you should follow this plan otherwise you should follow my 10 days revision strategy which i have already uploaded on this channel so it would be better if you uh, will complete this uh, subject in 10 days because uh, if you will complete this syllabus in 10 days then you will be easily able to practice uh, all the sums uh, actually not all the sums but major sums in writing so if you will practice the subject in writing then only you will be able to solve it in the exam because it is a numerical subject and you cannot just audit it right so you need to give a proper time for practicing the questions so that is why I try to give at least 10 days to the subject but if you are facing a shortage of time then you can follow this plan so starting with day number 1 first of all complete the chapters material labor and overhead now these are the chapters uh, from which the syllabus is started in most of the coaching centers if you have taken coachings so you should uh, revise with these subjects subject to that you are already aware of all the concepts of costing you are already aware about the format of cost sheet okay and if you are not aware if you are doing self study and if you are doing the subject for the first time then this plan is not for you this plan is only for revision okay so if you are revising then you should start with these chapters so day number 1 three chapters material labor and overhead on day number 2 you should revise your cost sheet unit and batch and job and contract Now you can see on day number two, I have kept small, small chapters, and on day number one, I have kept three large and important chapters. So that if by chance you are not able to complete all the three chapters on day number one, then you can continue on day number two, and you can also complete these small chapters. So in this way, you will be able to complete six chapters out of fifteen chapters out of uh, your syllabus. Okay. On day number three, you should go for again the most important other another three set of chapters that is your standard, marginal, and budget costing. Okay. Again on day number four, I have kept small. You know there are two small chapters: ABC costing and your joint joint product and by product. And along with that, you should uh, complete your process costing. Process costing and joint product and by product are related chapters. So that is why I I have kept this set. Uh, on day number 4 because abc is also interlinked with process costing so these three chapters are interlinked and also abc and jpbp are very very small chapters so that is why on day number 4 you can complete these chapters and on the day number 5 you should complete your cost accounting accounting chapter now this is a very easy chapter also it is a very scoring chapter you can get a direct 10 marks question on this so that is why i have kept this chapter you can also do your service costing on this day please do not leave service costing as it carries a weightage of 10 marks okay also you should not leave theory i would not suggest you to leave theory in my 10 days plan maybe i have not covered theory but after seeing this paper that was held in november 20 uh, they have given theory in uh, the numerical questions also okay so you you cannot ignore theory now so that is why you should complete theory and you should complete your chapter 1 Now for theory, what you can do is there are a lot of teachers who have already given a lot of notes. They they are really very good notes, so you can refer them, and you can also solve all the past questions. Okay, past exam questions, RTP questions, and MTP questions. So out of uh, four questions are there in a uh, in the last question that is a theory question. Four or five questions are there. So out of those four or five questions, you will be able to do at least two to three questions from those notes or that material only uh, which is available from past questions okay so you can just go theory with question wise and you should be conceptually clear with all the concepts you should be clear with all the concepts so, so that you can attempt its theory so in this way you can complete your costing syllabus there are some additional tips which i would like to give you you should divide the topics you should divide the questions into three categories that are your eq that for, that stands for e easy question then mdq most difficult questions and eq 
average question so in this way what can happen is in this third revision or in your second revision you can just solve the most uh, difficult questions and every question uh, average questions in writing and you can just look at the easy questions so this will save your time also you will be able to solve all the average and difficult questions as per you in writing okay also you should prepare summary notes for the theory portion or for the concepts you should maintain a concept register and you should also jot down the important questions or the difficult questions which you feel because you have to prepare for the 1.5 day leave which you will get before your exam and you cannot just go through the whole syllabus so that is why you should keep your study material very very summarized or very very short so that before going to the exam center also you can just have a view on the questions or on the concepts okay so just try to prepare some short notes or some uh, list of important questions from each chapter you should be conceptually clear and you should practice formats repeatedly you should especially uh, practice the formats of cost accounting cost sheet okay so you should be conceptually uh, clear and uh, that standard marginal budget formula so you should be clear with everything and you should be able to recall each and everything so to recall each and everything in your exam you should practice it uh, you should memorize it you should revise it repeatedly okay so in this way if you will follow this plan or my 10 days plan and you can follow both the plans also so if you will follow this you will be easily able to score very good marks and you will be able to revise the subject very very efficiently so meeting you in the next video with the five days revision plan for your another subject that will be your accounting okay so stay tuned with the channel and please subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed yet and please like my video press the like button if you are really getting benefited out of it ending this video here and thank you so much